Hyperhidrosis is a medical condition that causes people to sweat excessively. But according to new research, more than half of Canadians have never heard of it. It can have a dramatic effect on people's self-esteem and self-confidence when it comes to looking for work. Sean, like many recent university graduates, is entering the job market for the first time. Now that I'm graduating and looking for my first job, I'm getting really excited but also very nervous because um, because I have hyperhidrosis, I tend to sweat more and during interviews that only gets intensified, which makes it a lot more nerve-wracking to go into an interview. Sweat is a normal part of life, but a survey by Leger Marketing reveals that 65% of Canadians can relate to Sean as they say they tend to sweat more than usual when they get nervous. As Catherine Thorburn explains, appearing stressed can be a barrier to a successful first impression. Sweating makes us appear nervous. And in a job interview, you want to come across looking cool, calm, and collected. Dealing with any possible perspiration in advance will help you feel more confident as well as help you gain that second interview. Job interviews top the list for stressful situations, but for the nearly 1 million Canadians who are affected by hyperhidrosis, sweating can go beyond just stress-causing events. Dr. Noel Solish, dermatologist and founder of the Sweat Clinics of Canada, explains. Well, hyperhidrosis is a medical disease of excessive sweating. People really sweat up to four times more than normal. And it can have a dramatic impact on the quality of someone's life. It really affects their self-esteem and, and how they feel about themselves. According to the survey, half of Canadians are self-conscious about their sweating, and three in four feel it's important for them to hide it from others. Sean explains what it's like to live with the condition. On a daily basis, sweating is a big part of my life. Because I have hyperhidrosis, it's even worse than usual. So during stressful situations like interviews, it's terrible. But especially during daily things, I often bring a change of clothes or I avoid hugging people just so they don't find out how much I'm sweating because I'm very embarrassed about it. Unfortunately, most Canadians that suffer from hyperhidrosis don't seek medical attention. And they should. There's lots of good available treatment options for them. From simple things like over-the-counter antiperspirants like Drysol, to simple Botox injections, to a machine called iontophoresis, which is a machine available that uses electrical current to clog sweat glands. And finally, surgery is an option if absolutely necessary. For more information about hyperhidrosis, treatment options, and to find a dermatologist in your area, visit sweatless.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.